Before we begin today's video, I'm gonna try something new if you guys don't mind. I'll be doing a giveaway. A small giveaway, but a giveaway nevertheless. If my channel gets 25 new subscribers from now till next week, I'll give 25 bucks. If 50, I'll give 50. If 100, I'll give 100. Then anyone after that just gets a virtual kiss, because... Come on, guys. Upon reaching the goal, I'll pick a random person for my subscriber list, either new or current, through some online randomizer that I haven't figured out yet. And I'll contact you through the contact info that you have on your YouTube channel, so just make sure that's up to date. After that, I'll see if I can get some Cash App or Venmo tag from you, and boom, you'll make however much money it may be. This will just be a small token of appreciation to all of you because my love for you is truly immense. So I generally thank you all for your support, heartwarming comments, and positive interactions with my channel. It honestly means the world to me, and I I'm so grateful for it. With that said, good luck. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't, and let's get to the video. Once upon a time, in a country filled with homelessness, poverty, viral infections, corrupt politicians, and tasty hamburgers, a new catastrophe has emerged. As you and a couple of your unemployed friends drank Angry Orchards on December 31st, 2021, and watched the ball drop on your Samsung 55-inch flat screen TV, you wondered, what's the worst that can happen in 2022? You've already seen it all. We had quite the year. You and your friends start to think of something. You start to brainstorm, start to predict the future, but to no avail. You guys couldn't think of anything. I hate to burst your bubble because today I bring you devastating, heartbreaking, and tragic news that Putin is planning on invading. Your M&Ms are no longer sexy. M&Ms are no longer sexy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, allow me to Allow me to inform you. You ready? So M&M's, our beloved chocolate drops that give you a stomach ache before you realize you've had too many, is uh, changing their brand. They're rebranding to something more inclusive. M&M's and M&M's... Uh, uh, M&M's characters are getting a new look to become more inclusive. From new product innovations to brand campaigns, our evolved characters and our experiential retail stores... Experiential... Exper I've never never heard that in a sentence, we'll incorporate colorful visuals, inclusive messages, and our purpose into all we do to prove that all together, we're more fun. So, what does this mean? I don't know, man. PR? What they want you to think it means is that they're changing their all their little Eminem fun characters. You've seen the commercials, right? You know, little Eminem's doing funny stuff to get you to buy the product. They're making them all different. They're changing the way they look because they want people to relate to them. And, and no, guys, I'm, I'm serious. They, they changed their whole website and everything. This is like a whole thing that's going to happen. They're even going to change the actual M&M candies. They're going to look like this now. They're going to look like... I don't really know. I mean... <laughs> they're going to have different shapes. Because humans come in different shapes and sizes and we love them all. So now the M&Ms are all different shapes and sizes and we're gonna love them all and we're still gonna eat them. They don't, they're not changing anything. These just look like different kinds of M&Ms. Like, like this yellow one's the, the peanut one. The, the, the blue one's what, the peanut butter one? The M, the, the green guy's the, the M, as if they don't fucking all say M. The small one's like the mini M&Ms and the red one's just the regular M&Ms. So I don't know what they're, uh, whatever. Cool, great, awesome news. They changed their whole website and everything meet the crew right over here these are these are all these are all the different m&ms that they're making as you can see the yellow one looks exactly the same the red one looks exactly the same the orange one just seems to be more panicky the brown one and the green one are the biggest changes i have a before and after photo over here in the old m&ms the green one had high heels and she was very sexy in the new one she has flat bottoms and then the brown one had high heels and now her heels are not as high. Great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Whatever, it's cute, it's funny, it's harmless. I don't care, whatever. I'm still gonna eat M&Ms regardless and I'm still gonna chew them and devour their little personalities in my mouth, regardless of what they look like, okay? Cause I am, I'm all for equality, but what blows my mind, the, the main thing I wanna touch on is how mad people got. People are infuriated <laughs> by this. Most famously, Tucker Carlson. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. Are you okay, man? Do you do you need a hug? Do you need a kiss? Do you have do you have a wife? Do you have kids? Maybe hug them sometime. You know, maybe just 
hey babe, I love you. You know, just, just out of the pureness of your heart. Yeah, man. Baby, focus on something that's not so f***ing stupid. My god, this man is pissed that he won't be able to invite any of the M&M's characters out for a drink. Like, this man had a whole plan, had a whole scheme. This man wanted to make love to an M&M character, and now he can't. Why? Because the brown one don't wear high heels anymore, she wears mid-highs. But it's not only Tucker that's... Tucker, my boy Tucker. It's not only Tucker that's upset about s like this. People on Twitter are upset too. Reactions aside, it just blows my mind how much this blew up. <laughs> Everyone is just talking about it. I mean, good for M&Ms. I think they got the reaction that they were intending to get and whether their intent is uh, pure or not pure and just coming from like a marketing stunt, that's a different story. If they are actually genuinely trying to make an inclusive change here for you guys. Good for you. I'm not mad about it. Tucker's pretty upset about it. You're gonna have to talk to him about that. If you enjoy watching this video, as always, leave a like, leave a comment. If you're not already subscribed, please feel free to just hit that red button on the bottom. And while you're at it, if you have any other ideas on what you'd like me to make a video about or what or what you'd like me to react to, I'm open for a bunch of suggestions. So feel free to just drop them down. Oh, feel free to drop them, on, drop them, drop them down there and let me know what you think. What Take care, guys. Say my name, say my name, won't you wear it out? It's almost like you're talking my language. You know you may be sick of all the same shit. But we can do it all till I'm famous. Say my name, say my name, won't you wear it out? Don't know if you heard about me. Feel like they ain't bitter enough.